Hello everybody, Chris here, and in this video I'd like to show you how to create a freeze frame duplication effect inside of DaVinci Resolve 16. So the basic idea is you're going to have some kind of movement on the screen, and as the person or object does their action or movement, you're going to freeze the frame at certain points, creating three or four clones of the person or action on the screen at the same time. So the way we can achieve this is to first duplicate our clip into multiple copies sitting directly above the original clip on different video layers. So here's our base clip of a boy biking through the forest. So we need to copy this to the above layers. So I'm going to left click and drag a box to select the clip. I'm going to hit control C to copy it. And then I'm going to hit control V to paste it. Note that I'm putting the timeline cursor ahead so it doesn't overwrite the first clip. So control V to paste a copy and then two or three more times should be good for this. Then we take each of these clips and we put it onto higher video tracks. So to get more space for video tracks, we can move these audio tracks down here. We're not going to worry so much about that for right now. And I'll put this one on track four. So if you have duplicate audio as a result of that, one thing you can do is to lock your video tracks one by one. So V2, V3 and V4, but not V1 because we still want the original audio. And then you can come down here, select the audio clips, make sure you're only selecting audio track two, three, and four, and then hit control X to cut them away. So now you only have one copy of the audio again. Now we can unlock the video tracks. And the next thing we need to do is to pick out a point at which we want to freeze the frame. So we could go right around here where the boy is getting close to entering the scene. So we'll freeze the frame right here, and then we'll have that layer on top of the bottom clip. So first I'm going to trim the video track to clip to this point because we only need the video to be there at this point forward. And then we can left click, then make sure that your timeline cursor is snapped to the first frame of whatever's remaining in this video clip. Then you can right click it and go to change clip speed. So when we do that, there is a box here for freeze frame. Check that and then hit change. So now if we were to hide all the other video tracks, the clip will be frozen at this point in time. Now if we actually hit play though, even though there's a freeze frame, uh, nothing's actually showing above the bottom clip. So if we keep video track 3 and video track 4 hidden, we'll be able to see the freeze frame here. But as soon as the freeze frame starts, video track 1 is no longer visible. So in order to mix the clips, we need to use a composite mode. So click on video track 2 and in composite mode in the inspector, we're going to change that from normal to darken. So what darken is going to do is to take the information on the freeze frame and the above clip and use that to create a darkening layer over the bottom frame. Now, because most of the two frames are identical and that most of the scenery isn't changing, for the most part, it's going to affect the areas where the person is moving. So if I hit play here, what you'll see happen is that the place where it's most different is where the person was in the scene because everything else is kind of staying static. Now, if we go further though, you might notice that as the bike gets really close to here that there is some movement. So the way we're gonna work around that is by creating masking. So we can actually go ahead and create a simple mask here. So the only thing we're gonna want the darkening layer to affect is gonna be this area right up here. So to create that mask, we go to the color page go to power windows over here. It looks like a circle with a bunch of points. And we could either use a circle or I prefer to use a curve shape because that gives us more control over exactly how it's going to appear. You can middle mouse wheel zoom in, find the person which we are trying to mask out. And because we only care about this one freeze frame, it's gonna be really simple. We don't need to track it or anything. We just need to left click and add a bunch of points around the person. So going roughly in a circle there. Okay, so now that we've created our mask shape, that's only going to apply if we actually add an alpha channel output. So right click on this node section and do add alpha output and connect your blue and connect the blue box from the node connector to the alpha output. So just left click on the blue box and then drag it to the blue circle, let go, and you've made your connection. So now you can see on video track two, most of the space is gonna be blank here in this clip and we only really care about this moment in time where the person is frozen. Okay, so now we can go back to the edit tab. We can go back a couple frames, hit play and see how it looks. And pretty much the only thing that's changing is the person who gets frozen in time there, which is exactly what we want. So at this point, we basically need to repeat the steps. So find the next moment in time where you want to create a freeze frame could be right around here. I'm going to trim video track three 
over to here. We're going to show video track three. Now you'll see that because we're in normal composite mode, this overwrites the change we made on video track two. So the person will disappear temporarily, but we just need to change it to composite mode darken and then to right click on the clip once again and do change speed freeze frame. Okay, so if we play it back now, we should have two moments where the bike is frozen in time. So one, two and then the bike continues. And just to make sure that the darkening doesn't really have an impact on these outer areas, let's go over to the color tab and add in another mask. So using the curve power window, I'm just going to draw a simple mask around the person here. So let's go ahead and draw that shape. Okay, good enough. And now we can right click, add alpha output, connect the alpha from the corrector node to the alpha output. And now that one should be taken care of. We can go test it one more time on the edit page. Okay, so far so good. So let's do one final freeze frame. Let's show video track four find the point in time where we want the bike to be frozen probably here before it gets too blurry is going to be good so we'll put it let's say right there and i will trim the clip so that it's right here and we'll start the freeze frame so i'll right click on the clip do change speed freeze frame okay change the composite mode from normal to darken okay we should see three freeze frames here and if we actually hit play the bike will still continue so we have one two three and then the continuation and we should just mask this so that the darkening doesn't affect the rest of the screen once again so let's go to the color mode so on the color page we just need to create the power window one more time so using the curve tool i'll zoom out a little bit in this preview window and we'll make our shape okay so that's connected there now i don't think it's going to be much of a problem in this particular clip but if you run into the situation where with the dark and composite mode it's really noticeable inside but not noticeable at all outside so you have a huge contrast you could also consider adding in some softness down here to the inside and or the outside of your power window clip and kind of smooth that over so that you'll get a little bit of the darkening outside and a little less on the inside so it'll kind of have a little bit of a transition there rather than a hard edge Okay, and just lastly, to apply the mask in the final result, we need to add the alpha output and connect the corrector node to the alpha output. At this point, we can go to the edit page and play our whole clip. So let's make this a large preview window and go ahead and hit play from the start. So freeze frame one, two, and three and the clip continues. So that's basically how you do freeze frame duplication inside of DaVinci Resolve 16 without too much effort. So I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. I've been Chris, thanks for watching, and I will see you guys in my future video content.